So the last weight category to, to be decided this evening is, of course, the super heavyweights. And here's big Josh from England, Anthony Joshua, 21-year-old rising star out of Team GB and from the Finchley Boxing Club of North London. This young lad is making headway at a rapid rate and will be remembered in these World Championships, if for nothing else, for knocking out the Italian Olympic and reigning world champion. And Eric Pfeiffer of Germany, a former European champion, twice a national champion, is a worthy opponent for Joshua Castle. I want to ask you a quick question before we get into this bout. We can read the graphics and the skills, but uh, you calling the fight between uh, Camarelli and uh, Anthony Joshua. And was he as good as we read in the papers this morning? He sure was. I mean, this, this guy continues to impress me. I've been watching him since the preliminaries began. And Anthony, Anthony Joshua is really built for this sport of boxing more than any other sport. He's got the height, he's got the strength, but he's also got the smarts, and he's got the composure. I mean, up against a guy like Camarelli, the reigning Aiba world champ, gold in 2007, gold in 2009, and here comes young Anthony Joshua, seemingly out of nowhere, certainly off the world radar, so it would seem, and boom, he's blasting through the competition at an alarming rate, and I have him picked as my early favorite to take gold in this tournament. Well, uh, Rob McCracken, the performance director from uh, British Boxing, the British Amateur Boxing Association, has put a lot of faith in this young lad. He really has, and uh, Anthony Joshua is rewarding those people that have helped him out, put faith in him, and given him a chance when, for many times in his life, he's had things stacked against him rather than in his favour. He's going to turn a few heads and uh, right a few wrongs. Hopefully he can do it in the semi-final. If he gets, the semi gets to the final, who knows what might happen. Let's see how he settles in the early exchanges. Pfeiffer for Germany in the blue, the English rising star Joshua in the red. I mean, if for nothing else, look at, look at how impressive his size is. I mean, he's really built. He's got pipes for arms. He's got, he's got a cobra's neck or back, if you will, the way that V taper, and he really uses his, his feet well. I mean, for a big man, he's strong and he throws straight punches. Notice the straight punching by Anthony Joshua, the best type of punching to throw. Also for a big man as well, he's got some agility in there. He can move quickly, he can move out of trouble. Those angles that you were explaining to us with some of the lighter men, Joshua has those skills as well. Yeah, he's, he's really well grounded, and Rob McCracken has done a wonderful job with him to date. Quite a formidable opponent for any of the men in this world championships. Not the least of which Mr. Camarelli, who sensed that firsthand. <laughs> Olympic champion and world champion, knocked out in the quarterfinals by Anthony Joshua. Now, let's see if he can dispose of Pfeiffer and book himself a spot in the last round. It's a good start by Big Josh, as they call him. Only 21 years of age. He'll celebrate his 22nd birthday on the 15th of October. Wouldn't that be the perfect birthday present? Nice little gold medal around your neck. Yeah, it sure would. He could wear that one with pride. And something not quite right with the headgear of the German boxer. 24 years of age. Fair to say Eric Pfeiffer's got a good reputation. Good straight-up boxer, Pfeiffer. And a European title to his name back in 2009. But look at this, a very bloody nose. That can't help your confidence as a boxer, surely? No, I mean, this is perhaps a payback. The Battle of Britain, part two. I mean, the German may be coming on strong, but the British boxer is going to stand his ground. He will not let the German penetrate. And as you could see there, some great punching right down the middle, and he's bloodied the nose early in the first round of Eric Pfeiffer. He's put some big punches in. You can see the size of Joshua. And there's a little more urgency now to the counterattacks from the German. He knows that he can't afford to take any more big hits from Anthony Joshua. And again, he's got to go back to the ring. Yeah, this is, um, is going to be a problem, I think, for Pfeiffer throughout the remainder of this round. He may just be a bleeder, and once it starts, it's really hard to stop. And you know what? Even if the doctors are able to stop it, it's not going to be long before 
Joshua opens it up again. Those straight punches are coming with such force. And I think that's it. It is. Oh, my goodness me. What a magnificent performance. England's Anthony Joshua has done it again. Have they stopped the fight in the first round? Enough is enough. Those big, heavy blows. Or am I mistaken? It sure was. And you know what? The blitz. It's over. Oh, I can't believe it, Castle. The blitzkrieg that was Eric Pfeiffer, no more. And Anthony Joshua now sitting at the top of the heavyweight or super heavyweight division. He'll have one more man to get through tomorrow night. Hadn't even reached the halfway point of the first round, and Britain's new star of the super heavyweight decision books himself a spot in the final. Do we have the next Audley Harrison on our hands here, the last heavyweight to win Olympic gold in Sydney in 2000? This man's already on his way to London 2012, and now he's on his way to the final of the World Championships. The referee stops the contest halfway through the opening round. And not only that, but such a humble young man look at this he's going around he makes sure his opponent is okay he thanks the referee and now he looks to the fans and he thanks them as well this is someone you really need to look out for Anthony Joshua a rising star what a night for British boxing three out of four have gone through to their final round Selby is through Campbell is through and now big Josh from Finchley in London has booked himself a spot in the finals of the World Championships here in Azerbaijan. And this man just goes from strength to strength, knocking out the Olympic and world champion in the quarterfinals. Now he's disposed of Germany's best in the semis. Now, ho -ho, who's he going to meet is the next part as we move on to the last bout of the night.